Well, two weeks from today, a total solar eclipse will be visible in the United States. Of course, we're only going to be able to see uh, just a partial eclipse here in New Mexico. But whether you want to view it here or travel to see the total eclipse, meteorologist Alan Shoemaker uh, shows us uh, some affordable gear to help you safely view that solar eclipse. OK, I'm outside on a relatively sunny day here and want to show you some ways to safely view the eclipse. At no point in New Mexico will it be safe to view without proper eye protection. And first general rule is don't use sunglasses. These provide really no protection for your eyes looking at the sun. You can use special safety eclipse glasses. You put these on, I look at the sun and all I see is just an orange ball and nothing else. One thing I like to use, I've had this for years, is this is welder's glass. You can buy this in a plate glass or in goggle form, but make sure you get what is rated number 14. It says on there number 14 or else it's not dark enough to safely view at the sun. But what I like to do is to take a camera or something and when you put this up to the sun, that way you can get an idea of just how dark it is. You can shoot your pictures or video through there and, and get a good maybe time lapse or even use your cell phone. Just take your cell phone and put it up next to the glass. So that's a good way to easily get a shot. Or if you like a more advanced camera, I have this solar filter on here, which these are real, really cheap. And you can also just clip these onto a camera or hold them up to your face or phone as well and get a good view of the eclipse. So all these work and they're all relatively cheap, but the point is you need eye protection. Now, if you really want to see the eclipse in its totality, you have to drive east and check out this map here. And basically the closest places you can check out totality where you can safely look at the eclipse for about two or three minutes will be in Texas, Arkansas, and parts of Oklahoma and on up across the northeastern United States. So the point is, if you're sticking around New Mexico, you need some eye protection. And again, the eclipse is April 8th. If you miss it, the next one is in the year 2044.